Hey, so today's video, we're going to do a couple of weird things with snare drums. So first of all, this is a snare drum. It's 14 by 10. Um, it used to be a bass drum for a little kid's drum set. You've seen me play it before if you watch the channel. It sounded horrible, so I decided to make it into a snare drum. I just attached a strainer. Um, I put one of the wood hoops that I refurbished on the bottom side, and it actually kind of works. Um, so we're going to play this, just see what it sounds like, but then what we're going to do is we're going to make what I'm calling a compound snare drum. So we're going to take other snares that I have, and we're going to stack it up, and we're going to see uh, what it sounds like. And I've tried it. It sounds pretty cool, but we'll get the full view here. So check this out. 14 by 10 bass drum snare by itself. Okay, here we have a 14 by 5 Mapex snare. Came with the drum set that you can see back here. Um, it's just in its standard factory configuration. Normal hoops, normal heads, regular. Regular Mapex. Okay, now we have the 14 by 5 Mapex with the wood hoops that I refurbished in a previous video. And we're just gonna see what this sounds like by itself. Wood hoop mapex. So what I've noticed here is that with these claw style hoops, um, the tension rod sticks up above the level of the rim. And so then they lock together really nicely and there's no danger of them sliding off. So with that being the case, I can now stack the you know, wood hooped Mapex on top of the bass drum snare, and they're not going anywhere. I can sort of play it as one sort of 15 by 14 snare drum. What I can also do in this configuration, I can use just the snares from one drum, just the snares from the other, or I can attach both snares and get the double snare sound. Just the top snares. I'll switch. Just the bottom snares. Both sets of snares. So then it turns out, as long as one of the drums has the claw style hoops, another one can fit on top of it. So I can't put any more on top of here because it would just slide off, but I can actually put this regular um, triple flange hoop snare on top of this ridiculous stack. So you can kind of see I've got the bass drum snare under there all the way up to this regular snare on the top. So now we're looking at a uh, 20 by 14 snare drum basically. And so again I'll play it with each of the individual snares on and then I'll put them all on together. This is just the bottom most set of snare wires. Okay then we'll go for the bottom two sets and not the top one. Okay, now we'll go for all three sets. Now we'll take the bottom ones off. So it's just the top two sets. Now we'll take the middle one off, so it's just the top set. Uh, now I'll just put the middle one on. So I prefer it in the all on configuration, of course, because it's three full snares.
Cool, so this was just kind of a ridiculous thing that I decided I was gonna do. Um, let me know in the comments if you liked any of the individual snares or which combination of uh, compound snares you actually liked or didn't like, what sounded good, what didn't. Um, I think that all the snares with all the wires on sounds the best because you're getting maximum snare, but you can kind of get some nuances by flipping different snares on and off. So uh, hopefully that was cool. I'll see you guys next time.